Hey, it's me, Steve WB, and welcome back to my channel. And it is literally like 2.30 in the morning, and I'm filming yet another unboxing. And today we're gonna to be unboxing the Ulanzi the uh, L1 Pro, which is basically just a light cube. And I bought this to go with my GoPro Hero 8 and the Media Mod Kit, and the Rode Wireless Go microphone. I'm trying to get my full vlog set up all put together. This is a cheaper alternative to the Loom Cube, which is about $90. You can get this one for $35. And even though it's not quite as bright as the Loom Cube, it is waterproof, it is compact, it's a little bit smaller, it's a lot cheaper, and uh, it should work just fine. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox this, and then we'll just see how bright it is. So let's get right into it. Okay, so here it is. Comes in some, uh, just like a cheap little plastic box. This one looks like it was uh, handled pretty roughly. Let's open this up and see what we have inside. So first you have the light itself. Let's see what else is in here. A booklet. This is a, uh, a QR code for a link to a mobile app, I believe, in your instructions. And then for this particular kit, you actually get, and you don't get this with the, uh, the Loom Cube, you get all these different colored filters. I believe there's 20 all together. You have a snap on, looks like a cover. You put your filter inside here and then you snap that onto the front, something like so. And then you have a handy dandy wrist strap. So we'll be doing uh, nothing with that. And then they give you this cool little cold shoe mount by the quarter inch screw. So this just screws on the bottom of your L1 Pro. And then this adapts it to a cold shoe mount. And then of course you have your charge cord, which is a USB-C to USB. And that's everything that you get in the box. Okay, so we got it out the box. Here it is right here. The power button's on top. You just hold it down and it kicks on. That's brighter 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 and that's back to dim so you have dim bright brighter so let's uh turn the lights out and we'll see how bright it is okay so i've turned off all the studio lights as you can tell it's pitch black now we're just going to turn this little fellow on and see how it would do i'm holding this in my arm so i don't know how effective it's going to be but that's low medium and high I know I probably won't even put a background on this because uh, it's gonna kill my green screen. But what I'm gonna do real quick is I just wanna mount this to the camera and try it again. So let's try that. Okay, so now we're using just the little uh, Ulanzi L1 Pro. It's on the high setting, shining directly in my eyeballs, which is very blinding this close. But uh, you know, we're just seeing how bright it is. If, <laughs> if I was vlogging at night with this, I would seriously have to sit there for a minute to let my eyes refocus after shutting this off because if not, I'm definitely running into stuff and tripping. So anyway, so what do you think about this little light? Let's uh, turn the studio lights back on. And there you go. The studio lights are back on, which is a lot better, but I'm still seeing spots. I mean, it's a really bright little light and I'm going to do a more in-depth review of it. This was actually just more of an unboxing than a review. I'm trying to make over 300 videos this year. So I'm trying to spread things out a little bit, not put too much in one video and make it too long because I'm uh, this channel is new. I'm trying to keep the video short and to the point. That way though, basically the view duration stays up and it's, I'm more likely to get recommended. So it's gonna be shorter videos and uh, more like to the point. And then as the channel grows, we'll start doing like unboxings and reviews all at the same time. With that being said, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. I'm Steve WB and I'm out.